imagine this. It was a clinical pediatric cardiologist. I walked into the office of the chair of genetics and said, you know, I'm a clinician. I have deep commitment to try to help a specific patient population. I want to find the gene for Marfan syndrome in order to understand the pathogenesis, the sequence of events leading to disease manifestations. And my ultimate goal is to help these people. But I need your help. I know nothing. I have lots of samples. Um, they're very meticulously characterized at the phenotypic level, but I don't know any genetics. At many other places, I would have gotten the answer, you know, well, isn't that quaint? Here's what you can do for us. Give us your samples, give us your clinical data, act in a marginal supportive role, basically get out of the way. Instead, there was no discussion of who would get credit. There was no discussion of where the funding would come from. It was just a group of people that were visibly excited at the prospect of helping a young person launch a career in a new discipline. Throughout the 25 years or so that I've had a research career at Hopkins, I've seen that same scenario play out over and over and over again. There's something about this place that prioritizes knowledge. We have to fight little battles. Every time we win, we have to rejoice. We have to derive personal benefit from that because that's what's going to sustain you to make the next discovery.